Now to some breaking news, a major step forward in NASA's mission to the moon. It's getting underway. The wet dress rehearsal for the Artemis 1 mission starting at Kennedy Space Center. News 6's James Barvero is there for the historic moment. Breaks down what we can expect in the days ahead. James? The tests this weekend, Matt, they're everything to NASA, determining if their new moon rocket is ready to blast off for the first time. At Launchpad 39B, the space launch system, it's been there since the rollout the other week. And starting right now, according to NASA, they say they are on track for the launch teams with their exploration ground systems, called it to the station, they call it. They're going to conduct a practice countdown tonight. They're going to fill the water tank for the sound suppression system, power up the SLS core stage and the Orion capsule at the top. Sunday, the big day, that's when NASA says it will actually fuel the rocket. Listen. They'll take the fueling systems through their whole process, do the whole countdown, and actually put all that liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen into that vehicle and make sure it's ready to go for launch day. And about launch day, NASA told us it would not tell us a hard launch date until SLS passed this series of tests. And visually, NASA says this weekend, don't expect to see much. We're not going to see any engines firing up. So we have to rely on NASA themselves for any updates. We will, of course, keep you updated as well. Live at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six.